College education. The president's plan to drive down the cost of college and create a university rating system has a lot of people talking. News 4's Jordan Williams spoke with local education experts today. And we're, we're providing more tools and resources for students and families to try to finance college. And, and As students prepare for the start of the fall semester, big questions about how the president's plan will impact colleges large and small. He put this out yesterday as a concept. So the devil will be in the details. Cynthia Zane is president of Hilbert College in Hamburg. Just here in western New York, there are 21 colleges and universities in our consortium. She oversees about 1,100 students, mostly undergrads, at the private Catholic institution. College students are very mobile. Uh, they move around from, you know, it's not unusual that they go to two or three colleges. She says her funding would be at risk if students transferred to UB or Buffalo State or any other college. When Hilbert is measuring the graduation rates six years after a student starts, that student isn't there. Even if they've graduated somewhere else, it doesn't count. I fully support trying to help students as much as we possibly can. News 4 also tracked down Muriel Howard, the president of the American Association of State Colleges and Universities. She's a former president of Buffalo State. I think he's Selected the heart of the issues that are important to higher education today. Howard admits tying federal funding to graduation rates could be a challenge. Right now, it just includes first time freshmen. It doesn't count transfer students or part time students. So, institutions don't get full credit for all the students that they serve in those graduation rates. Zane hopes the president will take time to listen. We'll wait and hopefully in the next six to eight months we're going to have opportunities to meet with the po policy leaders in Washington. She says a one-size-fits-all policy won't work. Higher education is simply too complicated. In Buffalo, Jordan Williams, News 4. For one UB sophomore, the president's visit was extra special. The White House called Silvana Diatori to ask her if she would like to introduce President Obama at UB. She said yes. During her speech, she told the crowd how important college is to her and so many other students. This morning, on Winging at Buffalo style, she told Diana Fairbanks how she got the phone call. I'm really involved on campus, mm -hmm. too, so I know people who knew me. You know and people. Yeah. <laughs> also, I'm, there were certain criteria, apparently, uh -huh. that the White House wanted. They wanted a sophomore, a female, from the Buffalo area, and right. had to be in the Finish and Four program, which okay. is crucial to what Obama was talking about. Right. So I met all the criteria, and they did a whole background check on me. and asked you passed? I, yes. Good. <laughs> they That's asked if I wanted start. to do it, and I, I really did, so here I am. <laughs> Silvana says she's going to college to become a dentist.